how to search uh, transcription factor binding sites for one transcription factor uh, in, uh, in, the, in your gene list. Okay, here we have a gene list of um, 90, uh, 497 genes expressed in adipose tissue, and we would like to search for binding sites for transcription factor P par gamma. First, what we have to do is to create a file with P par gamma uh, name, um, and for that we uh, input, uh, click on input, and here uh, we click on row data. So let's call this file P par uh, gamma, and here we put we have to put um, the name. It must be a, a gene official gene symbol for this uh, particular gene. So we click OK, and uh, it uh, now it asks uh, whether it's a gene symbol, right? And we can also specify the species, Homo sapiens. Now we click Start, and here we have a file PPAR gamma, which have this uh, gene name PPAR gamma inside. And now we have to convert this um, um, gene into the profile of all motifs in transfac which are associated with this transcription factor P par gamma. For that, we go to the analysis tab, and here in the method section, we go to the site analysis, and here we see uh, a method called create profile from the gene table. We double click on it, we go back to data, and we drag and drop this P par gamma into this uh, file. And, uh, and now we have to select the reference profile. And the reference profile is, uh, so we want to see all the motifs from transfac, for that we click here. And uh, now select the vertebrate human, which means this, uh, this is a full uh, transfac profiles for vertebrate, uh, for the vertebrate factors. So factors acting in the vertebrate species uh, which is uh, optimized with uh, cutoffs for a human genome with a p-value 0, 0, 0, 0,001, which means the frequency of those sites per average in average uh, genomic sequence would be one site per 1,000 nucleotide. So these are how the cutoffs were optimized. So we select this reference profile, and uh, now it is ready, we run it. So now it goes to the transfac, select those uh, positional weight matrices, the motifs for P par gamma, and you see here uh, nine uh, matrices, nine positional weight matrices, which are associated with P par gamma transcription factor. So the next step is take all this, take this profile and run it uh, for site search in this gene set of uh, 498 adipose tissue specific genes. For, to do that, we go to the analysis section again, and we start the program called site search on gene set. So now go back to the data and drag and drop here the gene set, which is uh, 498 adipose uh, genes. Uh, it's drag and drop it here. And uh, here we have to select the no set. Uh, which is a, a set of the ground set of genes which um, we want to compare the, uh, the binding sites uh, found in the promoters of uh, adipose tissue specific genes should be um, should be enriched in those promoters compared to the uh, promoters of other genes the background genes and as background we uh, we can use for instance uh, um, genes from housekeeping genes from human genome so for that we go uh, to uh, to actually um, a public section here and here the data sets and data and here we select the how 300 housekeeping genes um, so we have to go actually to select this this name so let me go here to select this name so it should be here in this line name and then please uh, click OK. And now we have to uh, put here the profile, <coughs> a newly created profile for our <coughs> transcription factor, P par gamma. So we drag and drop this profile here. 
and we have to specify the uh, the the uh, promoter lengths, which is minus one kb from start of transcription to 100 nucleotide um, downstream from uh, start of transcription. You can change this <clears throat> to a smaller size, for instance, 500, to see only those uh, very particular genes which are indeed regulated by p par gamma in uh, very um, proximal positions uh, in relation to start of transcription. And uh, the only thing we have to now uh, change is the output pass, just uh, for you to remember. So it's uh, adipose tissue specific genes, which were searched by PPAR gamma transcription factors, uh, for transcription factor motifs. So now we run this analysis. So it see uh, you can see the searches for, uh, for the binding sites. And now it reports uh, the frequency of the binding sites for uh, these uh, selected <clears throat> uh, motifs. You remember there were nine motifs. It found that four out of these nine motifs uh, produces uh, binding sites which are um, specific in the promoters of, uh, of these genes. And uh, for instance, this P par gamma 07 is uh, very specific. Uh, so this um, yes to no ratio is 1.3 and p value is p um, value is in 10 minus uh, uh, 4 so uh, which and you can see this frequency of these sites in the promoters of um, um, adipose tissue, uh, tissue specific genes is higher indeed higher than than in the promoters of housekeeping genes so uh, we can uh, then select this um, line and then click here on this button which will show us all the genes which have these uh, binding sites for p par gamma in the, in the promoter of, um, of them. Uh, and uh, you can see this number of sites in the promoter. So you can <clears throat> see each of that site, which, uh, which is um, indicated here by this arrow. And you, uh, by opening this uh, below tab and opening this info box here, you can see uh, each of that site, how good is the site, what was the consensus, what was uh, the score uh, of that site and the core score. So you can evaluate those sites. Actually, uh, you can mm, um, select which genes have a maximum number of sites. For instance, uh, we can uh, put a filter saying I need only those genes which have uh, at least a um, uh, number of found sites more than uh, say three so we put here above threshold and then we select the number of sites we uh, p par gamma so more than three uh, and then uh, we apply this filter and uh, now we see actually four genes which so many um, binding sites in the promoters for p par gamma so these are indeed the uh, the genes which are uh, regulate, must be regulated by p par gamma because you have so many uh, binding sites in the promoters. So we can save this set of genes uh, as a special set. So we can uh, say these are filtered by, um, you know, by three, more than three. Well, all right. And uh, press OK. So these are your uh, adipose tissue specific genes which are re regulated by p par gamma and have a um, uh, no high number of binding sites in the promoter of, of these genes. Thank you very much.